Hello and welcome back to the channel. I guess uh, you would call this sort of like a part two to the fuel line installation and finish up work to get the fuel pump on, the lines fabricated and connected to the uh, carburetor. Having to come up with a way to brace them, mount them, whatever, in order to keep the them vibrating, you know, and having stuff break. So this is that's what I'm doing here. So I have, uh, as I mentioned before, probably in the last installment, I have a clamp holding this in place on the back of the water pump and the timing chain cover. I uh, found another bolt that's the same size and pitch thread and all that stuff and cut some more threads on it with a die and uh, threaded this through and I got it bolted on with uh, a flange nut there so that's working out good and then the next part was getting this all this here this is like all the way from back here out to here. This is like hanging out in space. And I just feel that when the engine's running and high, high RPM running and all that, that this is going to vibrate quite a bit. And this is from between, yeah, between here and here. It's all aluminum. And just feel that this, this may break. And now you've got a big problem. You know, you got gas going everywhere, and now the car don't run no more. So, I want to brace this so this don't move up and down, right? And I'm thinking about how to do this, and uh, I think I've come up with a way to make a mount bracket that comes from these two studs off the uh, manifold fasteners. Because uh, there's two identical to this on the other side. This is stock to the way they did it in the factory. Probably some forethought to, you know, mounting accessories like the alternator mounting bracket or anything else that may be used on different models on down the road in the design process. So using these, I'm fabricating a mount. I got my steel bin. This is part of the rocker panel that I worked on my Silverado with I kept her laying around out of the way and this part of it right here seems to be what I'm looking for so I'm going to mark this out and cut it and once I do that it's going to let's see now I'm doing this handheld so I'm trying to set this in show so the two studs will come through here and sit sort of like this and then the, yeah, I can't the, this upright part I'm probably going to bend that a little bit more to what I need and in the process of doing this I was looking at the engine compartment and wondering you know what can I do to make it look better later on down the road when this gets all disassembled and cleaned up looking for some better fasteners and clamps and stuff for it and I found these right here these were initially going to be like hose clamps for you know down here at the water pump and up against a firewall and I got some bigger ones for the radiator hose on top and bottom and right here of course right down there <clears throat> so I got a bunch of them in a bag probably more than I need so I thought, you know what, this would be something cool to use, I think, for, for what I need. And this will match up there with everything else in the engine compartment. So, uh, so I go to use a clamp, and it's going to work. But now I need uh, a cushion or something like that on the inside, not to, like, clamp down on this nice aluminum stuff and, you know, wreck it all up. And I thought, you know, a piece of rubber or something like that would work. Oh, I tried a piece of hose that was too thick. And I'm like, now great, i got to order something else. And wait for that to come. 
and I'm walking around looking for what I could possibly use and one of the things I have out here because I've got carpet in my garage is I have a vacuum cleaner and at one point uh, the belt in it burned out so I had to order some new vacuum cleaner and they are a sixteenth of an inch something like that and this is half the thickness there we go you gotta put something big in front of this camera for it to focus on so this is like half the thickness of the rubber I was working with I cut a piece off of that and it's perfect so this is what I'm going with and uh, let's get to making this thing and see how it works out okay I got that tab knocked out and this is a real trick boy with a big old cutoff wheel trying to make these meticulous cuts without yakking up the oh, you know blemishing the metal there because I'd like to take you know some of these pieces off of here and fix them all up real super nice and have them chromed if I can but that's way later on down the line so I cut it from this side and use the screwdriver to pry this up a little bit and put a piece of steel stock in my vise and kind of like knock this flat where you see it now so I did some preliminary filing on it you can see where the hole is I suppose where that flat's gonna go down on it right and if you look I'm gonna put the light on okay so you can see it's just off center like an eighth of an inch three sixteenths right so I'm going to take and shave some material off this left side here and that'll bring that bring that into a line there. Okay. I got this thing mounted up, but I'm fairly happy with the progress. Got everything sort of like preliminary filing done, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. <clears throat> the uh the studs are back in and I got the holes drilled and I got some flange nuts holding it on and so when you let me put the line on okay I know this looks crooked but that's because this carburetor is just sitting on the studs it's not wrenched down or anything like that so this is about how it's going to sit, right? And I marked out right where the, the, uh, the clamp's at. And I'm going to do some cutting and trimming here. I'm going to do some cutting and trimming. I got marked out sort of roughly of uh, all this extra metal and see where it goes. I might even go a little wider here just just to do it because it's not going to hurt nothing just to have some extra material in case I overcut, undercut, whatever and I can correct that so that's where we're at now coming back okay a little farther along now I've uh, done a lot of cutting and filing and this is pretty much the finished product next is to the, the 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 bracket screw or the clamp bolt right so as this sits on here <clears throat> and this as I tighten it and get this uh, bottom part of the bolt to come out it's going to thread into a hole that I'm going to fab up a piece of rod and braze in, weld in, whatever. This area right here, I got a fair idea where it's going to go, but I got to measure it first. I got a tap ready to go that I ordered that's the same as this. It's a, it's a metric. So, uh, and then I'll put a hole in this and 
braze and or weld it in and that'll be pretty much it that'll be a finished job so that's that's what I'll be getting at next here Okay, I got me uh, some scrap steel stock here. I'm going to turn down to a more manageable size for the stud, or the uh, boss, I guess you'd call it also. Clamp bolt to screw into. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to turn this down to a more manageable size. This is actually part of a old U-bolt that used to uh, clamp the axle onto my Silverado before I put the lift kit on it. And I was using it for something else. So yeah, I'm going to turn this down a little more smaller diameter. It's got a little bit of a wobble in it too, so I'm not liking that. So Turn this down. Okay, I think I got this thing done. So here is the final version of the fuel line hold down device. The part I was turning in the lathe right here. And I brazed it on from behind so it looked nice. And just let's look, see what it looks like going on the car here. Then the fuel line. So now, as I tighten the clamp, this bolt is going to start coming out of this end of the clamp th threaded boss here, and I'll be able to screw it in to this part that I drilled and tapped into. So tighten that down a little bit, see, see that coming out. Okay. Let's sit down. Fuel line hose clamp, filter clamp, all rolled into one, I suppose. Plenty of room for the fan there in the front. It's a done deal. Finally. So I think the fuel system's a done deal now with this uh, last clamp attachment support system for the fuel line going to the carburetor. Uh, if you've uh, made it to the end of the video, congratulations. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, please like and subscribe and occasionally check on Facebook there I usually sometimes I make a a posting on there for an upcoming video or something I'm doing on the car or whatever else I'm doing so thanks for stopping by and be cool